Hi, I'm Maud. That's short for Mordechai. But I don't go by Mordechai day to day. Far too much drama, too many syllables. I just go by Maud. When I was younger, though, I'd go by Maudie. But at some point I grew up, I decided, hey, you know what, I'm a big boy now. Let's drop the Y. Let's just call me Maud. Once in a while, though, I will see people I've not seen for a long time, and they'll call me Maudie. They only know me as Maudie. Interestingly, though, there are people who I see very frequently. I've seen, you know, to, you know, quite often, and they'll still come. They'll, they'll still call me Mordy. They know I'm called Mordy. It's weird. Why did they still call me Mordy? And I'm thinking it throws me off. I'm thinking, hey, w- do you not get the memo? But obviously, being too English, I'll just you know smile. Don't want to make things too awkward. But we, decide, we see this idea of people changing their names, so to speak, to match a new identity. We see people that become more religious, for example. They want to have a new, more religious name to match their new religious identity. And we've seen with Abraham and Sarah, they get a new name. They get a new name to, again, match their new role in terms vis-a-vis the nation. And in this week's parasha, we see Yaakov. He gets a new name. He's on his way back from Lavan. He's crossing over this river in the middle of the night with his family. And he finds himself alone. When this mysterious man appears, and they fight, they fight all night long, they wrestle. Until the break of dawn. And before the assailant is about to leave, Yaakov says, hey, please bless me. And he's asked, what's your name? He tells him, my name is Yaakov. He goes, no, your name's not Yaakov anymore. It's Yisrael. Why? Because you fought with God, you fought with man, and you prevailed. Now, there's many different many different opinions as to the nature of this fight, how it was, how it was actually manifest. But let's look, let's look at the Rashbam for, for an understanding of what was going on here. You see, Yaakov found himself alone. Why was he alone? The Rashbam says he was alone because he was running away. Okay, we're told that he went to get back some pots and pans, okay, which I see as, a, as, a, as an excuse. Hey guys, there's some pots and pans that I can get them myself. Why? Because he wanted to find himself without anyone so he could make himself scarce. And it makes sense because this is what Yaakov has done before. He's, he's run away from Esav already, he ran away from Lavan, and now he's about to meet Esav again. And it could, again, it could descend into a fight and Yaakov just can't handle it. He just wants to get out of town. Okay, at which point we can see God saying, no, it's enough, enough of being Yaakov. It's now time for you to take things straight on. Okay, it's now time for you to become who you're meant to be. Stand up for yourself. So we can see this man as this mysterious ish as being there to 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 stand there to prevent Yaakov from giving in to this Yaakov tendency, this Yaakov who runs away. Okay, now it's now time to t- to go from Yaakov, the trickster, so to speak, to Yisrael, the one who takes things straight on. Okay, Yaakov was his name in terms of someone else. He's asked, what is your name? Yaakov. No, Yaakov is your name in terms of Esav, your brother. You're called Yaakov because you're holding on to your brother's heel as you came out of the womb. We see Esav calling your eyes. This is why it's called Yaakov when, he's, when he discovers Yaakov stole the Baracha. Is this why it's called Yaakov? So he could, he could trick me these two times. He could take my birthright, he could take the Baracha. Yaakov is his name, not as him, in terms to someone else, to something else outside of him. Okay, but right now the man asks him, who are you? You're not Yaakov anymore. Realize Yaakov is the person that would have run away. Now you're the person that stood up, you stood your ground, you fought, you fought, you took on your troubles head on. You wanted to run, but you won and you're still here. And we can see this in ourselves as well. How do we define ourselves? What is my name? How do I define myself? Do I define myself as me? Or do I define myself in terms of my friends, my wider society, these expectations, these definitions that are placed upon ourselves? Okay, the truth is it's a constant struggle. We see the name Yaakov and Yisrael used interchangeably to reflect this, that that there's a constant balance within our persona, with what we do, why we do, how we do, how we present ourselves. Okay, and it's something that we need to consider throughout our own entire lives. But some things, these things, these opportunities come up to take and evaluate, to take stock and evaluate who we are, our identity, why we do things, the directions that we are heading. Are we running away? Are we running towards something or running from something? It's when we find ourselves alone, do we have the ability to really kind of take a look inside ourselves and ask ourselves, what is my name? Thank you very much. Shabbat Shalom.